हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड कॉस्ट एस रिसीवर कॉस्ट एस रिसीवर is a practical synchronous receiver system that is suitable for demodulating dsbsc signal so cost as receiver are suitable for demodulating dsbsc signal it is also known as cost as loop or practical synchronous receiver so it is also known as cost as loop or practical synchronous receiver the cost as receiver consists of two coherent detectors as shown in this figure these two coherent detectors will be having the same input signal which is dsbsc signal these two coherent detectors will be having the individual carrier signals that is produced by voltage controlled oscillator these two carrier signals which are produced by local oscillator will be having the 90 degree phase shift so for the upper channel which is i channel will be having a local oscillator signal as cos 2 pi fct plus 5 and for lower detector which is q channel detector is having a local oscillator signal which is having 90 degree phase shift which is sin 2 pi fct plus 5 so these two oscillating signal will be having 90 degree phase shift the coherent detector in upper path is referred as i channel or in phase detector and the detector in the lower path is known as q channel or quadrature phase detector at i channel the dbsc signal is multiplied with the local oscillator signal and it will produce the output v not i will be equal to ac by 2 m of t cos phi so this is the output of i channel when dbsc signal is multiplied with cos signal and it is passed through a low pass filter similarly the q channel output can be given as v not q is equal to ac by 2 m of t sin phi at the receiver if these local carriers are in phase with the carrier that is produced at the transmitter end then we can say the carriers are synchronized when carriers are synchronized the phase error phi will be equal to 0 so we know cos 0 is equal to 1 and sin 0 is equal to 0 so the output of i channel will be equal to ac by 2 m of t and output of q channel will be equal to 0 so the output of i channel will be having the desired demodulating signal m of t and the output of q channel will be equal to 0 so this will be the desired output so here the output of i channel and the output of q channel are combined in phase discriminator and it will produce some dc control signal this dc control signal that are produced by phase discriminator is fed to the voltage controlled oscillator and it is automatically corrects any phase error in voltage controlled oscillator so output of i channel and q channel are combined by the phase discriminator to produce some dc signal this dc signal will correct any phase error in voltage controlled oscillator so the carriers that are produced by vco is always synchronous with the carrier signal that are used to produce the dbsc signal therefore the output of castas receiver will always be equal to ac by 2 into m of t so this is the output of castas receiver 
this is about castas receiver hope you have understood the topic thank you